recently I ranked the best and worst Nvidia graphics cards from this year. So now it's time to rank every relevant AMD graphics card that you can buy brand new. I will go through all price points and resolutions including 1080p, 1440p and 4K resolution graphics cards and by the end of the video you will know which AMD graphics card to buy if you are building a new computer. The links to the best AMD graphics cards in terms of price or performance will be down below in the video description with the latest prices and availability in your region. My name is Valentino, that being said, let's get started. With the first graphics card right here, we have one of the worst GPUs in the entire market, doesn't matter if it's Nvidia, AMD or Intel, in the RX 6500 XT. The reason why I would never recommend you buying this graphics card in 2025 brand new is because of the fact that it has 4 gigs of VRAM. So the only games that you will be able to play with this type of graphics card are very easy to run games like for example Valorant or Fortnite or Roblox, Minecraft, games of that nature. If you are thinking of playing anything that's a bit higher demanding than these type of games, you will be fucked basically. So the 6500 XT is going into my trash, do not buy it here, even though the price is 159 USD, which is quite affordable, especially considering today's economy, I would never recommend you buying a 6500 XT for a brand new build. The same goes for the RX 6400, this one even worse because it's six dollars more expensive, so you could easily buy a burger instead of spending the extra for the 6400, but even then I would never recommend you buying the 6400 nor the 6500 XT. Both are actually pretty similar in terms of gaming performance, so yeah, do not buy these two graphics cards. But then we have the RX 6600, which used to be one of the best budget graphics cards out there and still to this day a really solid option for its price, but it used to go for 189 to 199 right now it's a bit more expensive at 219 USD. So even at this price point, I do think that the 6600 might be a solid option for those budget builders. So if you're looking for a nice graphics card on a budget to play games like GTA 5 or even games like Red Dead Redemption 2 at 1080p resolution, medium to high settings, I mean this graphics card is actually pretty nice. So in my opinion, it's still good value. Now it's not the best value out there because it used to be better, but I do believe that the 6600 is still a good value option for some budget builders. Now the RX 7600 on the other hand, I wouldn't recommend you buying this graphics card. It's too expensive for the level of performance that it provides. It's 275 bucks, it has 8 gigs of VRAM, nothing special. Now it's not the worst graphics card out there. I wouldn't recommend you buying this graphics card brand new, but still it's an okay GPU. I mean, if you buy it or you already have it, you will have a decent experience at 1080p. You will be playing games like, once again, Red Dead Redemption 2 or GTA 5, and you will be achieving faster performance compared to the RX. 6600 but the price is too high so if you're building a new system i wouldn't recommend you buying it and just for 15 dollars more you can get the rx 9600 xt the 8 gigabyte version this is one of the newest additions from amd now i am completely disappointed by the 8 gigs of vram i do think that in 2025 it's a must having more than 8 gigs of vram for any resolution especially for 1440p and 4k though now for 1080p you can get away with 8 gigs of vram in some games but if you want to play the latest most high demanding titles out there you will not be able to play these games at high to ultra settings so that being said the 9060 xt has an amazing level of gaming performance but it's limited by its vram so again i'm kind of disappointed by the 8 gigs of vram but i do think that it's a good gpu just bad value. For 8 gigs of VRAM, I wouldn't pay more than 250 bucks, but it's a great graphics card, just not a good value. If it had 10 to 12 gigs of VRAM instead of 8, my ranking would be completely different. Now, then we have the RX 7600 XT. This is the cheapest 16 gigs of VRAM graphics card from AMD, and in my opinion, it's a decent graphics card. I mean, it has decent performance. Again, you get 16 gigs of VRAM, but the price is horrible. You are paying 360 bucks when for 10 bucks more, you can pay for the 9060 XT 16 gigabyte model, which is about 30% faster in terms of gaming performance, and you get the same amount of VRAM. Now, the 7600 XT, if it was around 299, then okay, we can have the conversation of do you prefer VRAM or do you prefer pure performance? Because the 9060 XT 8 gigabyte version is about 30% faster in terms of performance compared to the 7600 XT, but it has less VRAM and that might be a limitation depending on the games that you play. But at this price point, 
I wouldn't recommend you buying it. Still, it's a good GPU, just bad value. And this is very bad value because for $10 more, again, you can buy the 9060 XT 16GB model, which is going to be one of the best AMD graphics cards out there, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's one of the best price of performance GPUs in today's market. I mean, you can run games at 1440p high to ultra settings, and it's also one of the cheapest 16 gigs of your own graphics cards in the entire market and if you want to play at 1080p you can max out 1080p resolution and play the most demanding games out there high to ultra settings with no issues so in my opinion this is one of the better graphics cards in today's market as i said before and for that reason it's going into the best of the best tier because best of the best doesn't mean that it's the best performing graphics card out there but it means that it's one of the best options as a graphics card in the market. So if you're looking for a price to performance option, you have around 400 USD to spend. The 9060XC is going to be one of the best options alongside the RTX 5060 Ti 16 gigabyte mode. Now, the 7700 XT is a graphics card that has 12 gigs of VRAM and it used to be one of the best value GPUs out there in the market. But as of right now, at 399 is still the same price as before but it's not worth it over the 9060 XT 16GB model. I mean, on average, the 7700 XT in terms of performance is only about 3% faster than the 9060 XT, but it doesn't have the new features, it's not a new graphics card, it has less VRAM and the price is higher. So it's a great graphics card, just bad value at the moment. If it was about 299, I do believe that the 7700 XT might have been one of the best graphics cards in today's market. So if it goes down to 299, I will 100% recommend it. But at 399, again, it's a good graphics card, just bad value compared to the newest 9060 XT edition. Now, another one of the newest graphics cards out there, we have the RX 9070. This one goes for 599. In my opinion, this is a very solid graphics card. Now, the price is a bit too high. I would like to see that 550 to compete with the RTX 5070. However, the level of performance is very nice with the 9070. You can run any game that you want at 1440p resolution, high to ultra settings, even in high demanding titles. And you can also use it for 4K 60 plus FPS on average. And if you have a 4K monitor and you're searching for a nice price to performance graphics card, I mean, this one might be a very solid option. If you have a 1440p monitor, there might be better price to performance options, but at 4K, Usually 4K GPUs go for over 700 USD at least, so the 9070 might be a nice value 4K option and a really fast 1440p graphics card. So it's going into the good value tier. I don't think it's the best of the best, but I do think that it's good value for 4K, good value tier. And then we have the RX 9070 XT, which is the fastest AMD graphics card in the entire market, or at least one of the fastest ones alongside the RX 7900 XTX. And in my opinion, the 9070 XT at this price point, as of right now at 699, is one of the best of the best graphics cards out there, just because of the fact that the competition is the NVIDIA 5070 Ti, which is going for 830 bucks. 830 bucks more expensive for about the same rasterized performance. I mean, sure, with the NVIDIA graphics card, you get a better level of ray tracing performance, you get the LSS, which is the better upscaler. So if you are searching for an NVIDIA GPU for those reasons, spending the extra might be worth it for you. However, the 9070 XT, in my opinion, is a really nice graphics card at a decent price point right now, and the price might continue falling in the next few months. So just keep that in mind. Down below in the video description, you will find the links to the best graphics cards in terms of price to performance from this list. So you might find the 9070 XT at a better price. But at 699, I do think that it's worth buying, especially if you're searching for a 4K high to ultra settings graphics card, or if you want to max out 1440p resolution in any game in any setting. And then we have the 7900 XTX. This graphics card is still going for A99. One year ago, it was going for the same price. So, I mean, at least the price is the same, but in terms of performance and in terms of price of performance, it's just not there anymore. I mean, it's about 6% faster in terms of gaming performance compared to the 9070 XT, and it has 24 gigs of VRAM. So, it's the maximum amount of VRAM on an AMD graphics card. So, if you need more than 20 gigs of VRAM for some reason, this is going to be the cheapest graphics card with 24 gigs of VRAM in the entire market. So that's the only time I would recommend you buying it if for some reason you just need more than 20 gigs of VRAM. Now, of course, in terms of price to performance, it's not there because the 9070 XT is $200 cheaper with newer features and it's just 6% slower when it comes to rasterized performance. So it's a great GPU, just bad value. That's, that's it, because it's a great graphics card to be honest. Because again, to be honest, it's a great graphics card, just not good value. But let me know how I did here and let me know what you would have done differently 
in this ranking, let me know in the comment section and remember that you will find the best AMD graphics cards down in the video description. If you want to see the Nvidia ranking, you will find that video in the top right corner of the screen. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.